SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. May you open with the number one team in the country. Can you talk about what stands out to you on film about them? Because it's kind of hard with no games to judge on film. What are you looking at? Yeah, they got a, they got a lot of size with Azubuki inside, you know. And uh, they got a lot of guards that like to get in transition and really athletic wings. So, I mean, they're, they're a tough team, and it's going to be a good game. You've played Kansas quite a bit in your career, I guess. Kind of walk through how this team maybe is a little different than that team your freshman year and, and the team you saw against AA. And then also, what does this game bring out for you? Yeah, this Kansas team, you know, they got a, they got a lot more young guys than usual, especially at the guard position. But, you know, they still got some transfers that are veterans and have played. So, I mean, they're still going to be a really good team, of course. And, uh, you know, Azubuki, he's a, he's a beast down low. So, I mean, they still got a lot of size. And, uh, you know, the freshman guards, uh, they're quick. You know, they can make plays. So, uh, we got to do a good job on that. Yeah, over the years, Michigan State is, you know, has played a lot of big games early. Oftentimes, the first game, like this one. How difficult is that? How challenging is that? To, you had an exhibition here, but there aren't any breathers before this, and you get right into the fray. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why you come to Michigan State for games like this, you know. Uh, you work your whole life to be put in this situation. That's why you come here, you know. Coach Izzo is a passionate coach, and uh, he loves these games. He lives for them. So, you know, it's just an honor to be here and to play in them. Yeah, over here, I know uh, you against Kansas and the champions is where it kind of started for you. And now you get another shot at them. But also, what does it mean a little bit with the big games, but playing a number one team again? What kind of extra motivation comes with that? When, when you have that number one team on the other side. Yeah, I mean, uh, them being number one and us being 10, you know, we definitely have a little chip on our shoulder and uh, we want to come in there confident, playing hard, and, uh, you know, just kind of send a message that, you know, we're, we're here, we're, we're a tough team, we're ready to play and uh, get the season rolling. How much do you learn about your team, you know, after practicing so much? How much do you kind of learn getting a big matchup like this early in the year? Uh, you learn a lot, you know. Uh, first game of the year, you know, playing the number one country, not a little, not not a lot of room for uh, slip ups. So I mean, we got a lot of veterans, but we got a lot of young guys too. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. You know, we've done, we've been doing really good in practice and stuff, and I think we're ready. Matt, back here. I know it's early, but already thinking down the road to March, it seems like the committee sometimes doesn't take into account early wins or early losses, whether it be. You know, you beat Kansas tomorrow, or they beat you. So, how big of a game is this really for you guys? Do you think it's going to matter in the scheme of your season? Um, right now, we just take it like one day at a time. You know, we're just trying to get better every day. And uh, you know, of course, Kansas—that's a really big game. You know, I mean, we want uh, we want to come out on top, but we're not going to let one game define us. But right now, like our only focus is Kansas and winning that game. And quickly, Miles Bridges and his girlfriend just welcomed the baby. Have you talked to him since? Yeah, um, I got to congratulate him, and uh, we talked on the phone for a little bit, and um, I'm really happy for him. Anything else for Matt? Thanks,